The tool I'm going to show you now is labels. You can use labels to mark your recording. I use the labels to be able to actually chop up my recordings into sections that I want. But you go under tracks, you go to add labels at selection or control B, and a label will come up, a label track. And I can type in here part two, saying this is part one right here. And I can go to the beginning if I want to and put a label. Let's put a label here. So I'm going to go control B and I want to say part three. So I have these labels and I can move them around if I want to. If I go and have the arrow right here, I can take it and drag it and so it'll highlight a section. If I grab where the, the center, where the ball is, it'll move the whole thing. So if I want to label this whole section right here as part three, I need to take it, grab the arrow, slide it over a little bit more, and now that is part three. I could do the same thing here. Now you can take these labels and you can export them. So I go to File, Export Labels, and it will go on, it'll say Label Track, and you can name it however you want to. So I hit Save. Now, if I take this and I get rid of this file, later on, let's say that we export this as a wave, and we want to be able to bring our labels back in. So I can bring this in as a wave. I can go into here, and I'm going to go to Import, Labels, find the file that I had, and here it is right here, double click on it, and it'll come in with all the information that I had. Let me show you this, it's just a TXT file. So if I double click on it, and it's very simple. It shows the very beginning and ending, so that one had the same beginning and ending, and it gives the name, and here's the beginning, and the ending was at a different location. So it's very simple, very easy to archive, and I suggest that you archive your labels, and you can use them later on if you need to.